Hi Libra, this is Moon Pie Tarot doing your next three months love reading. This will be for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. Please do go over to my channel and click the join membership button where if you click the membership button, you can receive exclusive perks and become a members only of my channel. All the perks and information, the link is in the description box below, or you just go to my channel and hit join. Okay, it's new something, something I'm doing here. And also, um, you can follow me on Instagram at Moon Pie Tarot. Personal reading links are in the description box below. All right, Libra, we're going to take a look at June, July, and August, okay? And this is a love and general reading. Um, if love shows up, we'll talk about love, which I'll try to touch on love anyway, but if general shows up, whatever might show up for you. Okay, Libra, you've got passion ignited for June. Also intuition. Wow, the f mm -hmm. that's a four of wands. You have for July, you have light, prosperity begins, and you have balance. Wow, you have a very spiritual reading, Libra. Okay, August, you have harmony. That's the lovers. You have discontent and boredom, and you have emotional loss. Okay, Libra, passion ignited. That's the Ace of Wands energy here. There's a new beginning happening here in June for you. Um, initiation, it's all about the self, courage, willpower. Um, there's an energy of like maybe some new projects you're working on, feeling inspired. You have an urge to create. It's like a very strong, passionate energy, trusting your intuition. And it has a, just everything to do with like a homecoming, family, a marriage, a committed relationship, friends, and a reunion. Let's take a look at, okay. Yeah, your passion is either to travel in June, or maybe on the 1st. June 1st, you're taking a trip, going somewhere, you're coming back from somewhere, and from wherever you are coming back from, your your passion is ignited from that. Um, something here is showing me like a necessary transition, Libra, like you have to do this thing, okay? Um, it could be like you're moving, you're moving, you might be relocating or moving in with someone or someone's moving in with you. You're just like feeling really good. <laughs> I mean, Libra, you're a cardinal sign and, you know, cardinal is all about that new beginnings and the power and the energy. So you've got it in you. Okay. Let's see what your intuition is. This is the two of swords. There's something going on here that you're going to have to trust yourself. You really have to trust your gut. King of Pentacles, okay, could have something to do with um, an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but it feels um, it's either you coming across that way, um, if you can be stable, if you'll be able to make money or, you know, take the head of household role, or if you can let someone uh, come into your life, if somebody, I for somebody, I feel like somebody's moving in with you, or you're going to buy a home together or relocate, because the four of wands feels like you know a home there's a house on here so it might be like buying a home selling a home and and you know go being an empty nester or traveling uh selling a home and traveling like your passions are stirred up um for others it's like buying a bigger home for the family you know this king of pentacles comes through as someone who is like very financially secure solid and practical leader a wise investor this person's like you know they, they they're a very good financial provider okay male or female it doesn't matter there's a contributions here being made and you're in, I feel like you're trusting your intuition or will be about this person making some kind of decision or having to compromise something to have this person more into your life. Now, this could be somebody new for some of you, or it could be someone you're currently dealing with. Foundation and achievements. Okay, five of swords. Yeah, for some of you, it's like there are some of you who, like getting out of the family home or a place that you've been living and starting a life anew with someone. Again, maybe you're buying a home or you're cutting this home out, okay? And, um, you know, getting rid of it and buying somewhere, 
either buying or moving into a bigger place. So June is a lot of like movement here for you and needing to trust your intuition and your gut about this person you're going to be connecting with. Okay, so July, you've got light, prosperity begins in balance. July looks amazing. It looks like your intuition tells you the right thing to do. Okay, um, let me see here. Why is light here? Because that's the sun. That's very positive, joyous outcome. There's success happening here for you in July. The sun is the hottest time of the year up here in the northern hemisphere. There's material happiness. Oh, wow, you've got the nine of wands. It's like you're fighting for your happiness and your joy. Overprotective about this. This person, this relationship, marriage, this committed, whatever you're in, whatever you're committing to, um, you're just, I just see you holding very strong boundaries and maintaining and being persistent in staying in a positive place, which is really good. Very, very good for you. You just got some kind of like, spark or bug in June that has you like going moving forward your intuition is telling you that you can trust this person I feel in June and then look prosperity begins here wow you've got the ace of coins and you have the two of wands so just waiting for things to pan out for you there's like a new start and it's like okay we're on this journey together here. There's travel plans or making some kind of a choice, waiting for a result, waiting for some money to come in um, so that you can truly go forward and do what you want to do. And you also have balance. That's your card, Libra. That's justice. And that's like cause and effect, a win-win solution and the truth coming out. But you being in balance, let's see. Oh, wow. You've got judgment and karma. Hmm. Well, judgment's clarity, a final decision, wake up call, and your life purpose. You know what I feel like is happening here, um, Libra? If there was a situation that you, you're getting away from because if it was abusive or there was something going on at home that you just were like, you can't deal with it anymore, I, I, I don't know exactly who you were if you were living with or just connected with, you may not have been living with those people, but they, they may have done some things that were like really harsh to you or some things like, I just feel like your good karma is coming to you for your effort and the things that you've been putting forward in a particular relationship or, or just in your life in general. Like that karma energy, that judgment card, that's a reconciliation. That's everything coming up from the dark out into the light. This is like, this is like fin a finale here, okay? This is openness, you know, and it, it's, but it's all in truth, okay? So there's truth coming out here that's going to serve you in a very good and positive way in July. I'm not exactly sure what that is. It could be a legal matter, um, some contracts. It, it could have something to do with that. There might have been an element um, where there was dishonesty, unfairness, could have been some bigotry, legal problems or lawsuits, and, and now it's all coming in your favor, whatever these issues were. It's like, I feel like you know you made a good decision moving forward, and it comes back to you by way of like proof, right? Something comes forward. So here, Libra, you're getting married in... If you're not married already, you're getting married in August, maybe around the 6th. I don't know if people get married around in August, but again, 6, 4, and 5, that's a 15. This person that you're with is like, uh, there's obsessive energy between the two of you. can't keep your hands off of each other, okay? Um, interestingly enough, after that, you've got discontent, boredom, and emotional loss. So let's let's take a look at the lover's card here. Because this, oh, okay, three of wands. This is like a decision's being made. I feel like somebody, Libra, might be actually offering this to you. And you are kind of like, okay, you're all about the teamwork. You agree. Like you both come in. It's almost as if like, it's not like somebody gets down on their knee or something and proposes. It's like you both, I just see this Gemini energy. It's like you both sit there and you're like, yeah, let's. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's come into union. Let's be together. Okay. And then with that three of wands energy, the communication about, okay, how are we going to work this out? How are we going to make this happen? Okay. Teamwork. So what's this discontent and boredom? Oh, this is not you, Libra. 
this is someone else you're connected to okay the world oh somebody's unhappy that you're leaving that's how i feel okay somebody's unhappy that you're leaving you're not leaving your lover you're leaving somebody else um um this is kind of a, like a surprise that's coming to another person you're connected to um i just feel like they just feel like they'll be bored without you could be a friend because you're leaving or you're doing something different you're moving on with your life that's the world you're starting a new chapter in august here Okay, com you completed a cycle, lesson has been learned, and now you're immigrating into a new cycle. Um, perhaps you're leaving to travel or you're going away. Yeah, I just feel like emotional loss. That's a, that's a sense of somebody just feeling like they're losing you. Yep, like they're going to be alone. I don't know who this is, okay? Um, and I feel like the message is for you to just take note of that whomever you're close to that you're, you're starting your life over a friend or family members or whomever or whatever's going on um or you're leaving a job or you're just doing something new and different i feel like um there's somebody here who may feel like you know they're losing you and it's just your message to pay attention to that and maybe have a conversation with them if you need to give reassurance um that you're not you're not leaving them you're just changing your path that's all Okay, let's see what your other messages are here, Libra, from Angel Wisdom Tarot. What other messages does Libra need to know here? Okay, so two of Earth. Working too hard or multiple jobs, the need to bring balance and fun into your life, juggling multiple priorities, and balance your budget. Okay. Um, so the two of pentacles, it's commitment for sure. Okay. Um, there's two choices, multitasking, weighing your options. You just basically look at this juggler. Look at how he's just standing on that tightrope on that boat in that rough water. It's just trying to get his sea legs. And I feel like that's something that you could pay attention to as you go on this new journey. Um, you're going to have to acclimate and get used to whatever this new, chapter in your life is so just make sure you steady yourself oh you have the knight of fire passionate confident charismatic restless events requiring immediate action trust your instincts stay focused and a passionate relationship that's the overall energy um knight of wands energy it's a <laughs> well let's just say Knight of Wands energy is like a very lusty and free-spirited energy, very creative, and travel. Passions be ignited, and then just you taking off. All right, you have the Ace of Swords. Brilliant ideas that may need refinement, overcoming obstacles with faith that everything will work out. Make sure to communicate clearly and concisely and remain objective. Okay, let's see. What else? What's your other message here? Oh, we have the page of, page of water. Uh, there's a sensitive, open-hearted, inexperienced, moody, could be a child or somebody you're connecting with. There are some, will be... There will be messages regarding relationships. There are new emotional experiences coming, a romantic encounter, social invitations or events, as well as psychic abilities are being heightened at this time. Maybe some of you are psychics. Okay, let's see. It just looks like a good month. I mean, a good three months. You're making some big changes. Okay, yeah, you have the eight of earth. Learning all you can about a subject or career. Going back to school for some of you might be taking a seminar or finding a mentor. Pay attention to detail and keep at the work that you do, your career, your work. Um, is something that I feel like you love or you will find a newfound love for your career or work. Oh, there's your card. You're the Queen of Swords. Brilliant, experienced, humorous, judgmental, releasing situations or people that no longer serve you. Seeing the humor in difficult situations, focusing on career. Um, this Queen of Swords can be divorced or unmarried, but 
not for long, male or female. All right, Libra, that's your three month reading coming up. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this reading. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great three months and I will see you very soon. Take care.